But first this evening, neighbors in the North Valley are very unhappy with a new neighbor, a pot farm right over their back wall. They're worried about the smell that it will produce and the crowd it might draw. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live near 4th and Alameda with why the county says this is all perfectly legal. Alex? Well, Dean, this unassuming spot right here behind me is the future home of Verde Care, one of a dozen newly approved medical pot providers here in New Mexico with grow houses right here in this neighborhood. It's the North Valley. Uh, we've got a half acre. It's quiet. Douglas Lane is very proud of his home of nearly 40 years in the county just off 4th Street near Alameda. It's a very wholesome neighborhood. But these days, Lane is worried what's happening on the other side of his back wall will ruin it all. We were never given any input on what was happening back there, no representation. We had no voice in it. What he's talking about is this construction work. Greenhouses meant for marijuana going up at the new home of medical pot producer Verde Care. Lane's neighbor Michael Alderson is also worried about what a marijuana farm will do to the neighborhood. There's those people, the people that will, because it's there, try to sneak in, try to get to it. We cannot sit out here and enjoy a picnic or uh, go swimming in the pool with the grandkids and have that odor. Here's the thing though. The zoning code does allow for agricultural product to be grown. Uh, on this property. County Planning Director Enrico Grotti says Bernalillo County zoning rules don't treat growing marijuana any differently than growing anything else. The zoning code does not make a distinction at this point. And selling won't be a problem either. This letter approving the use says that dispensing marijuana is allowed because a drugstore would be allowed in the same spot. Grotti says the old laws aren't really set up for dealing with this growing industry. I think many counties uh, are new to this, and um, we're going to wait and see how this plays out. That's not good enough for people here who worry about what this new neighbor will do to their property values and way of life. Why would they allow something like this to impose such a horrible, devastating impact on my neighborhood? Now, neighbors here were also upset that they weren't notified that this was all being built. However, County law doesn't require any sort of notification in this case. Now, we did reach out to Verde Care's owner to see if that company is going to do anything to address neighborhood, neighborhood concerns over smell and safety. We did not hear back. Back to you. All right, Alex, thank you. Now, with a booming pot business in Colorado, Denver recently passed a law making it harder for pot farms to pop up near homes, mainly because of the strong smell they produce.